Hello, and in this part we'll be finishing off the dark side of the story. Oh yeah. Um, final chase. Uh, you said it was your hardest level. Oh jeez, I noticed that big <laughs> jump. It's like six lives. Yeah, I, oh. I, well, I, I don't think I can point out the exact point of the level where I kept messing up. But it's it's it was on one of these green spears. But the gravity wouldn't... Like, I, wouldn't, I couldn't get pulled in on the gravity and I kept falling off and dying. Hmm. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, that's this level, this gimmick of this level here. They're gravity, gravity spears. Yeah, the gravity column. Well, more columns. Yeah, these things yeah. here. Probably my least favorite gimmick in the game because of just how unpolished and glitchy it can be at times. Mm hmm. I did see a video on, like, uh, where it's you, someone else got into this level through, like, Tails and all that. <laughs> like, with Tails. And apparently, it works better with Tails, I think. Was Tails in his mech, or...? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably because he was able to hover everywhere, but... <laughs> Unless you needed to just lightspeed dash, uh, you could pretty much go anywhere. Yeah. Uh, you can that... also skip a lot of things in uh, these levels too because of the gravity and all that. It's kind of weird. Yeah. And just because of how big they are, you're allowed to skip over a lot of things. Also, always go in the middle one because that's the actual one you have to go into. You, you know, at, at least okay. This is a blatant like sort of copy of. Final rush, but mm -hmm. at least they do introduce a new gimmick into this level to make it distinct from mm -hmm. Sonic's level, at least. Mm -hmm. Oh <laughs> no! Okay. So it's it's stuff like that which gets me killed. Hmm. Yeah, uh, the camera angles aren't the greatest thing too, even with the widescreen. Yeah. Because uh, the game wasn't meant for widescreen, so uh, the widescreen is kind of worse for the game in a way, especially since it can enable that uh, Chow Key glitch mm -hmm. that we were talking about a few episodes ago, I believe in Skyrail. Uh, yes. Uh huh. Uh, that's yeah. when you sort of collect a, a Chow Key, but when the camera's sort of on you at a weird angle or something, isn't it? Mm hmm. Yeah. You gotta finish the level and pause and restart, and then you collect the cow chi chow key wa <laughs> at like some specific time before like the screen fades, and you'll get teleported to whatever level you were at. Yeah, cow chi. No, is that chow key? <laughs> no, no, is I that... didn't even notice that. No, is that a form of martial arts involving involving a sofa? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cow key. Cow chi. It, it, it's a. Uh... It's uh, it, it's for your cows to d to learn how to defend themselves. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. Um. Um. Uh, I don't know what I'm thinking of. Uh, I had something really good in my head uh, that I was gonna say. Then I heard. Then our, uh, Jeff corrected me on <laughs> Chowkey and. Uh, <laughs> mm. Um. Yeah, this level. It's not too long, though, at least, that. Well, isn't Final Rush shorter? Um... No. Yes. No. Yes. I'm not sure. I think they're both in, like, six minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, about there. Mm. Uh. Um... No, I don't... I don't remember what I was gonna say. I think I was gonna talk about, uh... A game I wanted to record, but then I completely forgot about that. Uh, oh, would you guys like to do a Persona game? <laughs> I I've... like I know it's they're long games, so I'm just wondering if you guys would ever want to do that. Would... The only one I've ever played is three FES, so free F F F FES what? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm saying, uh, have you ever heard of a Persona, the Persona series, Jeff? Uh, so, an RPG set in a high school. Yeah. Uh, of it. I'm not sure I would have much to say about it. Okay, because they're really long games that I'd have to cut out a lot. Yeah, and I'm uh, just wondering how you guys would think about that. 
I have no experience with a uh, Persona game whatsoever, except I watched a stream once. <laughs> you were in Cloud Persona. Stream of it, yeah. Yeah. So that's the only experience I have with it, and my experience is that it's really long and boring. <laughs> uh, so far what I've played of it, uh, I just got the game not that long ago, and it, it's actually the kind of game I've been waiting for to, to play, just because I kind of like high school life sim way of that, that it does it, and mixing it with RPGs, cool I guess. Well, yeah. if, if you were to record it, I would certainly... Uh, commentate on it with you, and uh, you know, mm. actually show an interest in it. But honestly, I'm I'm a bit concerned about RPGs mm -hmm. in terms of commentary because you just you te since they're so long, you tend to run into things to say. Yeah, I'm kind of running out of things to say on the uh, dark side story, but uh, be it's better to do this. Yeah, just skip over everything. Well, I would have yeah. liked to, except that the gravity pulls me back in. I've only had the bounce attack. Actually, yeah, that would glitch the hell out of this level, actually. That yeah. would be really glitchy for this level. Oh, the gravity's saying no. Um. Uh, that was weird. Actually, speaking of, say, Shadow, uh, I know that uh, Tails, Knuckles, and Amy are pink in Lost Worlds. Uh, would you guys be opposed to having Shadow back again in the series, the main series. I wouldn't mind them being back. No, I wouldn't mind. Uh, I wouldn't either. In fact, I'd be curious if they could like make some jokes about him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe change a few things, too. Like, maybe not make him quite as much of a clone of Sonic. Mm. Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't know about that. Because in Sonic 06 and Shadow the Hedgehog, they tried to make him different from Sonic, gameplay-wise. And that didn't turn out good. Well, true. But, um... Um... Uh, I, I had a perfect counter-argument to that, and then I, of course I forgot. Yeah, let's go with forgot. <laughs> yeah. Um... I'm trying to think of something that they did different. Eh, whatever. Uh, I suppose, um, just make him play exactly like Sonic, except give him the Chaos Spear. And mm -hmm. when he shoots a spear, make it do stuff. Like, activate switches or kill enemies or whatever. Like yeah, kind of like an alternate homing attack. Like, uh, homing it, like a ranged homing attack, where you can attack, but without actually going towards the enemy. Yeah, I, in fact, I think in the 3DS version of Lost World, Sonic has, like, an, an axe kick. Wait, it's like uh, that's also in um, that's also in the uh, console version, I think. Yeah, it's it's sort of like a ranged. No, it's like a ranged attack. Where Sonic does like a kick and like a sonic wave. Oh yeah, shoots yeah. Shoots out. You know, have Chaos Spear work like that. I think uh, the Insta Fields in the 3DS version. Oh, <laughs> damn it! Damn you, Light Dash. Uh, I think uh, yeah, the Insta Shields back in that, and they also bringing back uh. The elemental shields. Yeah, the 3DS version is going very classic. It's actually looking pretty good. It's looking way better than uh, Generations 3DS did. Yeah, hopefully they're it's good. Yeah, but about this boss fight, um, Sonic, how is he? Like, didn't he barely manage to use Chaos Control in like that cutscene, and now he's like using it flawlessly all over the place, like? He... Isn't he supposed to be limited in his knowledge of chaos control compared to Shadow? He um, it's he just guessed something. He just guessed his chaos control, and somehow it worked, like really good, or something like that. Yeah. Uh, uh, not Sonic's to not like Sonic. Yeah. Uh, not to mention the Sonic Wind Attack, which Sonic never does ev ever again ever. Well, except <laughs> except except in Sonic Battle or something. Well, he kind of he kind of does that tornado attack in Sonic Heroes. <laughs> you should have said I'm the coolest here. <laughs> that would've been funny, actually. And where did you get like th you got, you got like three extra lives from somewhere? I think I forgot it in the final ch the final chase level, or maybe collecting rings on that boss stage there. Maybe. 
Oh, and it looks like Eggman has won. <laughs> I like how he throws it at it. <laughs> yeah, Eggman has won. You are winner. Yeah. For <laughs> once. It's kind of cool how you have to... Yeah. Warning. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool how you have to actually play the dark story to find out that ending because in the hero story, Sonic's alive, everything's happy, but they don't know what Eggman's doing in the meantime. So it's kind of cool that you have to play through the uh, dark story to actually know what's going on in that uh, respect. So. Oh, oh, definitely. The stories from different perspectives is definitely something I like about some the adventure games. Mhm. Mm yeah. Uh, I wish they would do that again, though. Like, not like 06 way, but... Like, better. Uh, actually, with the new Story Riders, I would like a, a, another adventure game. It'd probably be a lot more lighthearted than this game does. Well, we might sort of be getting a, a, a more complex story of, story of Lost World. Yeah, it actually looks kind of different than how they've been recently. The stories lately have been funny, just not, like, uh... M memorable, or... Yeah. Mm. They're all really simple plots. Uh, I think Lost World's plot will kind of be similar to Colors, as in, like, there's a bit of plot there, like, about how the Wisps got there and stuff, but, uh... And why the Wisps are there and stuff, but... Oh, yeah, there's probably gonna be a reason why the Wisps are there. Um, well, actually, I, I hope Sega didn't forget about the reason why the Wisps are there, because that'd be bad. Just have yeah. the wisp suddenly there. It's like, why are the wisps here? I don't know. Mm. Anyways, yeah. just make them attracted to the chaos emeralds or something crap like that. Hmm. It'll uh, pass. Yeah. And speaking of Shadow here, I don't understand why he he was so popular. Uh, well, at least in the beginning, because he was a character introduced with a a fairly decent backstory, mm -hmm. where most of the characters were two D at best. Yeah. Well, I guess I think this was really their bigger uh, uh, attempt at backstory rather than uh, yeah. Well, I guess Knuckles had a bit of mystery, but they had backstory as Knuckles, but it was hardly any. And Knuckles never questioned his backstory either. No, I guess not. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, this song's kind of boring. It suits his mood, Lal. It suits his mood, but boring. Mm. It's too emo. Uh, and honestly, when it comes to the, the the level tracks in this game, they tend to be over rocky or jazzy. Big the cat was in that screenshot there. Good to know. I know. And I guess, uh... Since the music is either rocky or jazzy, it's got less variety than Sonic Adventure 1's mm -hmm. level tracks. Yeah. Oh, and after this we get the trailer for the last story. Which we will see you guys in next time. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. See you guys then. We've still got like half a minute. Oh, what? What are we... Half a minute, really? About 25 seconds. Well, we can end now, because we did that before. No, did we? Yeah. Look, oh, no, keep this in, keep this in. <laughs> no, see, this, okay. this looks like a perfume adverse. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought about that before. Last episode. Wishes. Sonic Adventure for men. Coming next week. <laughs> Take your woman on it.